This week's video, I wanted to show the NOCO Boost. So this is the, the case that's for it. It's like a soft, hard case, I guess. Um, we'll get into the case in a minute. So this is the GB150. This is the, the older one. The newer one is the GBX155. I wanted to avoid the GBX just because I did a bunch of research and I found that they have problems with charging. So if they get below a certain point, they don't wanna charge as were the older versions. The GBs, the older ones don't have that charging issue. Also, these ones are a little bit cheaper. So this one's the 3000 amps as were the GBX 155 is 4200, I believe. And it's, I think it's 329 as were this one um, was 299. So it is slightly older. So one of the, the downfalls is it does charge via micro USB, but then you can charge it by 12 volt port, which is the way I charge it and it's way better anyway. So this one, the GB150 will do um, up to a nine liter gasoline engine or a seven liter diesel engine. So I tried this on a John Deere 470 excavator, which is 24 volt by the way, but I hooked it to one battery. That's a 13.5 engine and it didn't start it, but I didn't think it would, but I wanted to try it at least. I also tried it on a, a um, Peterbilt with a Cummins nine liter and it didn't start either, but those batteries were pretty bad. All right, so, so we have a Peterbilt here with a PX9, which is just a Cummins nine liter. We're gonna test this GB150. So it won't start, it's got a little bit of battery power. So there's a jump points here, there's a positive there and there's a negative there. So let me get this hooked up here. So you see that it came on 9.3 volts. So to push this button here, turn it on. So it is fully charged. So see how it's hunting? So now we have 60 seconds to try to crank it before it stops working. All right, so let's see what happens here. It's a neutral. Let's try it again. Nothing. So it did not start this. Uh, the GB150 is rated for a seven liter diesel, and this is a nine, so. I just wanted to see what would happen. 7.3, um, an older power stroke, an IDI in a water truck that I have used this for many times, it works good. I used it on a um, John Deere skid steer, works good, back hose works good, water trucks works good. So then, has a light with a whole bunch of different settings, I don't really play with that much. So when you hook up the cables, this uh, little display will come on and it'll tell you what the voltage is. So then, there's a few videos going around of people demonstrating this and it seems to me that they're kind of doing fake. They're kind of faking it to prove that this thing isn't that well. But when you turn it on, so it, it's fully charged right now. So then when you hook it up to a battery, these lights will, will sync back and forth. Um, like they'll, fly, they'll go all the way back and forth. So that means it's hooked up, it'll have a voltage. But then as soon as you turn the power button on with this thing hooked up, you only have 60 seconds, it times out it's like a safety feature, so it times out. So if you turn it on, the voltage will still display, but it'll time out. So I think some, some people are doing some fake stuff, but that's just my opinion. So then if you're below two volts here, you have to hold this button down to get it to start like that. So right there. So now it's, it's primed and ready. These are ready because if it's below two volts, you have to hold this button down. So that's kind of a safety feature too that a lot of people don't understand. So this is what it does here is they flash like this and it gives you 60 seconds. So let me just turn it off. So then another thing I really like about this one is these cables, I mean, check these things out. These things are real nice and big. They're bra or brass or copper, I'm not sure which one in there. Cables are nice and thick. I like too that they don't come off. Some people don't like that, but I think it's nice for this bigger one. So then what I really like too is, is, is it says in and out. So then the input, you have a micro USB and you have a 12 volt in and then out, you have the 12 volt out and you have a full size USB. If it's fully dead and you charge it via USB, it's 11 hours to bring this to a full charge. But if it's fully dead and you charge it via 12 volt, it's only like three. So I always just charge it 12 volt because it's, it's way better. So then. I really like the way this thing is well, well thought out. Like, let me just show you here the way that the 12 volt stuff is. Like it comes with, that's the micro USB cable, we'll get that in a second. But it comes with a 12 volt cable here. 
Here is the way that the 12 volt comes. And I like it, it's really neat because it doesn't have like a full size, it doesn't have like a full size port on the side or something, but it's just this little set here. And then there's a, there's a female and then there's a male and then it comes with one cable. And what's really neat is they're different connectors. So in and out are different connectors. And then these connectors correspond to the connectors here. And then it just has one cable, which is really, really I think it's really convenient. So then it's, it's got an arrow for in. I don't, it doesn't say in, I don't think. No, it doesn't say in, but it's got an arrow. You see that arrow? And then it's got an arrow for out. So that way you can't mix this up. So if you want to charge this thing, it'll only go in one way. And then it'll only go in one way, and then it'll only correspond with one of these. So then it corresponds that way. So then there you go. You can plug it in to charge it. And then if you want to use the 12 volt out, you just flop the cable around. And then the other side of the cable goes in here. And then you can put the other part on there like that. Makes it super nice, super handy. And then it has a, a USB port, a full size USB port. So one thing that this, let me set this aside. One thing that this thing, it is kind of dated. It's, I think it came out in 2020 as far as I can tell all the research I've done. So it is micro USB. A lot of people don't like that. As where the newer ones are USB-C. And then it has a full size USB-A port, which can be whatever, but it doesn't bother me, it works fine. I just, I would never recommend charging it via USB unless you had no other choice because it would take forever. But I just think it's well thought out. The way these covers cover on here, the way everything is like marked in out, the way that it wraps around, it's just very, very well thought out. So then it comes with the, I guess the booster. Um, it comes with the 12 volt cable, the 12 volt in out port, and then it comes with this really, really nice USB-A to micro USB cable with one of these little magnet things. And then it comes with like this humongous little book, which I haven't opened yet. But then I got this little, I got this case because I was just gonna throw it in like one of those cat plastic boxes, but this case was not that expensive. So I decided to get the case and it's just, it, it's super well thought out. So the NOCO just fits in here really, really good. Here, let me, let me show you. It just fits in here almost like a glove. Like it fits perfectly the way that the wires are. This is like a velvet and it's not really a hard case. I mean, it's, it's soft, but then it's, it's, it's not hard. It's like a softer shell case, I guess. And then it's got the two little pockets here, which is nice. I put the manual in there. One thing that I have noticed though, which is probably just the way I store it, a couple things actually. So then when I put this in here and I close it, this, tends to roll down just because the way that the handle is, the handle's up here. So then you pick it up like that, but then now it kind of rolls out. Let's see if it did it. Yeah, see it did it that time. It, it kind of, I don't know, it just maybe the handle should be on the other side or something, but that's not that big of a deal. This case wasn't that expensive either. So I would definitely recommend these. Check them out. Um, I'll link this down below on Amazon. I'll link this as well. Um, I just prefer the GB150s over the GBXs just because there's some issues with the GBX's charging that I've seen, unless they fix that, which I don't think they have. So I would recommend the older one, works good. They also have a lot, if you don't need the 3000 amps, so if you don't need up to a nine liter gas engine, they have smaller ones. You can get, I think, all the way from 25, which will do like a four cylinder engine. You can get all the way to like, like a V8 or just like a, a regular V8 engine or stuff. So there's different sizes, it's just the bigger one. They do also make a 24 volt one, which I really want to try but it was like $1,200, so that's not gonna be tried. Unless, unless no code, unless you wanna send me one of those, I'll try it out, but check these out. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.